Hello everybody and welcome back to Comic Trash Plays The Walking Dead Season 2 by Telltale Games. We are going into episode 2 and yeah, let's just get into it. I really love the visual design of this game. It looks pretty good to be honest. And it's actually loading or... Oh, here we go. Do they still have Lee's voice for that? That's a weird thing, but cute. Wait till we nice get to noise. The then talk to me about Cole. Watching over us. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome <laughs> to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? I was about to say, who's Carver? <laughs> uh, with Krista. Me and Clem. We smart. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you. And this is where I made the dumbest possible choice in this scenario. I'm up with a guy who's definitely gonna die. Run, dude. We have to go. This is a long flashback. I'm glad I took some time away from playing this game so it wasn't like finishing that episode and going straight into basically a good two minutes of that episode. You don't need that long in your previously. If the person's playing it, they probably know. Unless they've had some kind of weird memory loss over the last however long it's taken up to play the second episode because I don't remember how long I waited I think it's been like a week uh, you know I should really be doing college homework right now but I've spent all day in college and I'm stressed out my mind and I just want to game a little bit well they shouldn't be able to get through that on the downside we can't get through them just give them time, they'll die. <sighs> what are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? This guy's face is kind of weird. Because he's like realistic, but also not. Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my big awakeness, of course. Oh my god, but if they can't just find Clem, like, sawing off his leg. Or at least trying to help him saw off his leg. And how is he going to cauterize the wound? definitely a bite right it's not like a graze or something he definitely felt teeth on his um, leg use car keys look at them first the keys are still in it well worth a shot true but 
I'm not gonna gonna look through that even though it's a matter of life and death for you. I'm not gonna look at that until I know that I've looked at everything in here. Probably? Yeah? Nice. Nice one, Clem. <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <laughs> Clem looks so unentertained. We wait. Wait, am I just was I only allowed to give one thing? What? What? what the, why the hell wasn't I allowed to go try the car after giving him a cigarette? Also really not a good idea to sleep next to someone who's zombied up. That sounds way too human. Okay, I guess I'm only allowed to go closer to him. Don't be dead, please. Yeah, he's fine. I feel like I just keep making wrong decisions. Like I should have driven away, maybe. I don't want to die. I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. What does it feel like? It feels like, like a rope is wrapped around my neck, I'm getting tighter every second. It feels like I can't, <coughs> can't breathe. Uh, maybe I should have moved those keys. Would you, uh, would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love oh. that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Been almost what was the matter? They ain't gonna find us. If he remembers it, if he's dying. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. Pete, no. with me to do what die a couple hours later than now to say goodbye to Nick <laughs> climbing time you gotta dig that knife in there and twist it a little bit like shit I used to say <sighs> we're burning daylight let's get this over with why don't we just try and go out the front door Oh my god, he is like grey. No, 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 no. Sorry, Pete. I did try. 
I wasn't sure if they meant the directional buttons or the WASD buttons there, so I'm glad I chose the right one. Sorry, Beat. I did try. But like you said, it was pretty hopeless. Not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been Who hours. are looking Alvin? Where are they? Clem, Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. That's no Where explanation, Clem. Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Okay, but you shouldn't go out when you're that heavily pregnant. Even a bad fall. Looking for you. I told him not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank I will. I'm going to uh, respect inside. this guy. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Requests. And thank you. I mean, it's a request kind of dumb because I could actually be a serial killer who's killed all of those people. But, you know, living with this daughter might not be the best idea. <laughs> I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's pretty cool that it still works. It's Surely so it would have gotten more damaged. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? <laughs> Can't control your posing. Okay, I'm ready. Take it. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Um. He'll be fine. Are you sure? I just need to... Hmm. You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? What the fuck? Where did she get a gun? Something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! Don't. Sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that nope. tree. Hey, Luke's back. Wait, is she in a different room from her normal room? Okay, we don't even know if that's definitely Luke. That doesn't look that much like Luke. Something very not good has happened to that girl in the past. Hello? Anybody home? This is probably a bad choice, but I don't want to risk him like shooting us. Who are you? Well, actually I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down the river. I'm kinda of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. 
What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. That's kind of an insult. <laughs> I like her Clementine. I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabin this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. A big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Sorry, um, this is very tense and I don't want to wreck the, the like atmosphere by being all jokey and shit. Is he like trying to sniff them out? His face is weirdly uncanny. That looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. <laughs> that said, doesn't. Through, or you've been here a while. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. <laughs> Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. What a frickin' weirdo. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well, White's in trouble. Yep. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I farted. Sorry, that completely ruins like the thing, and it was exactly what I said I wouldn't do. I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is here. Did she close it? That looks very suspicious. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? You're sure. poking around. this well it's a kid yeah looks like it was taken in this room <laughs> I love Clem's are like you have no idea who these facial expressions are. do you know them let me ask you this 
much did they trust you? I really want to play a th like a full like season one to like the end of season through three well, playthrough with like no talking. I can let myself out. I'm not making any quips. You have a real good day now. <laughs> you will remember my silence. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? I'll shoot him. For you. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. We probably shouldn't. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. What was I supposed to do? He had a gun. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he yeah, but he could have shot us. Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Now, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Oh, Sarah's being so sweet. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem. To what? I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. You know, I'm probably going to be like proven okay, wrong, but these out. guys Clementine. don't you know where he was, right? Yeah. Seem. All right. Everybody, grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Marjorie, and I'm gonna not judge them too harshly. I will probably be punished for that, and maybe Carver will turn out to be lovely. Yeah, but just a little ways. Hey, Clem. You know. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's Ooh. a long story. Pardon me. He has a hard time letting go. She was with Carver. She's pregnant with Carver's baby, maybe. You no, know, none of us would make it on our own. I mean, that's super obvious, but... Just how dependent I am on everyone. I felt the need to point out. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? <sighs> the 
it is one nice thing I like. That's where we were. That they mentioned that like cigarettes do taste bad after they've been left for a long time. Even like in sealed packs, they can taste terrible. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Oh, poor Nick. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Wow, he started losing a lot of blood. Anyone see uh, it's gonna be jump scary. I don't wanna. I don't want to jump scare. <laughs> don't do it. I don't want to get scared. <gasps> oh. Damn. That's a bad death. Oh, damn. That's a bad death. Oh, my God. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't Wait. have a gun. Who did this? Oh, the Something two boys is. hugging. We need to go. <sighs> he's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. I'm sorry, Nick. It's gonna be worse because like the last conversation was really bad, but like I kind of realized that like tell me oh very tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Everybody wants me to keep an eye on him. Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. But we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Ben. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Yep. Okay, we're at like the 28 minute mark, so I am going to cut this here. And yeah, uh, the, the thought I was trying to get out when um, Luke started talking again was that I lost my granddad and right before it was the last time it was almost on my birthday like my 17th birthday and he was very badly ill like he'd had cancer for a while he'd been cured of it but then as a result of chemo he got thrush oral thrush and so with a mixture of not eating much when he was like getting the chemo treatments and then the thrush being misdiagnosed twice and then the third time getting properly diagnosed, it was too late to really do anything for him. And last time I saw him, that freaked me out so much. And I was so upset by it that I didn't hug him. I didn't tell him I loved him. And I was just so upset. And I went through my Nana's room and just cried. And my Nana also decided to tell me later that he got really upset because he thought that he hadn't got us a birthday present when he and my Nana had. And it's a very hard thing to talk about, but... It was still a moment that happened between me and him. That was still a moment we shared. Even if it wasn't good. It was a moment of us just being who we were at that point. And although it hurts, it's the last one that we spent together. It's At least it was genuine, you know? Rather than all the try, like, let's try and make it all traumatic and emotionally charged and say everything we need to say stuff. It was an mo honest moment between me and him. And I think that's really important. And obviously, um, that thing kind of reminds me of that. And I'm like tearing up. But 
yeah, I don't know if it's relevant to anybody else, but it's relevant to me. And yeah, he was... he was great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go before I just start blubbering all over the screen, but yeah, that was just a little thing I wanted to add in there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for listening to that sappy stuff I just spewed out and for listening to my annoying teary voice. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video even if it has a total downer ending. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye!